Alright, how's it going guys? So um, today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your iWeb website to um, the internet basically. Alright, so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to open up Safari, right? Oops, go to google.com and then search Dropbox. Okay, so I know there was a certain thing, it was like get dropbox.com yeah so you don't really need to go to google so it's get dropbox.com and then hit download dropbox right so once that's done you're going to want to go exit and then install it and then you're going to want to open up your iweb then you're going to want to take your um, website and I'll show you what to do as soon as it opens all right so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your folder. It usually saves to mobile me. You're going to want to change it to local folder. And usually it's um, to your iWeb folder. You can put it to desktop or as soon as you install Dropbox, you can move, use it, move it to users, Hunter and Brooks, well, which is mine, and then Dropbox. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, you just you basically you get all the pages you want. I'm not done editing with my my website, but um yeah. So and then yeah, that's all you do really. Uh, nothing else really matters. Well, it doesn't matter, but so local folder, site name doesn't matter, contact email doesn't matter, just location and local folder. All right. So then uh you're going to need to uh exit out of that. And then open up your Dropbox folder. And then you move these three things. Well, this doesn't really matter. Uh, these two are the things you need to put in your public folder. Once you've done that, uh, that doesn't matter really. You just want to go right click this. So it won't work if you do the one that's not in public folder because if you right click or left click and then right click, and then hit Dropbox. It doesn't have the uh, copy. So go into public, left click, right click, Dropbox, copy public link, exit on Dropbox if you want. Then you're going to want to go to a site called dot.tk. And I'll have all these links in the description below. Okay, so as soon as my slow internet loads that, if it's going to, come on, internet, don't fail me now. Seriously, seriously, it'll load YouTube, but it won't load dot dot tk. Come on. Okay, screw it. We're going to Google.com, and then we'll search dot dot tk there, and then we'll click on that link, and hopefully it works. There we go. Okay, that's stupid. So I'm gonna hit shorten URL, and you're gonna paste it in there, and hit go. Um, I'm already signed in, but you're going to rename it what you want. So my site is mrcomputerguy.tk. Right? But since I already have that, it says domain taken. Uh, registration, put it to 12 months. Enter in that, and hit sign up. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to hit log into my .tk since I already have mine. Right? Right? Okay. And I am actually using this. So, we're going to let that load. So, you just want to upload your site. So, you want to go to Domain Panel. And then, it'll say, um, Add a Domain. You're going to want to add the domain. Add your domain name. .tk, but, you know, I can't do that because it's already registered. And then, yeah, it just, you hit Shorten URL. And then you go into here, well, you have your domain panel, and then it'll bring you your domain name. So mine's mrcomputerguy.tk. Then you can click on that, and it brings up this. This is your refer URL. This is the, uh, the public link that we got from your Dropbox. You just want to leave it on domain forwarding, and then, yeah, save changes. Well, it'll save it for you. And then, yeah, and then whenever you want to update it, you can just 
you can just open your iWeb, update it to your Dropbox, and then update the Dropbox on .tk. And that's all you got to do. Um, follow me on Twitter. Check out my website. Um, do all that fun stuff. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.